Rosalind from Utley Raw Food and today I've got the beautiful Anne Osborne and Anne I'd love to invite you to share your story because I think there's a lot of people out there interested in fruitarianism as a, a way of life so could you share all your lovely thoughts and journeys and experiences? I started off on the path to fruitarianism when I was 20 and I was at university at the time and um, I decided to become vegan purely for ethical reasons. I thought I was in pretty good health. And um, immediately that I gave up dairy products, I noticed an increased benefit in my health. I wasn't expecting it at all. It was amazing that suddenly um, I wasn't wheezy and I wasn't puffing as I climbed the big hill up to university every day. And that really got me thinking that there was a big connection between what we put in our bodies and how we feel. And so from that moment on I was interested to research about and try different types of vegan diet. And I tried Anne Wigmore sprouts and wheatgrass diet. I tried cooked macrobiotic diet. And I tried a cooked whole food vegan diet. But while they worked to a certain extent, none of them worked that well that I stuck at them for more than a couple of years. And then when I was 24 I was in my hometown of Leicester, which is in England. And I went to a talk on fruitarianism by a local chap called David Shelley and he was such a good advert for the diet he was vibrant healthy he had a great colored skin he rode his bicycle everywhere and I thought you know I want some of what he's got and so I made the decision to adopt a fruitarian diet personally I chose to do a transitional diet because I was pregnant at the time with my elder boy and so over about 14 to 18 months I gradually ate more and more fruit less and less cooked vegan food until at the end of the transitional period I was on a 100% fruit diet and I've never looked back really um, I've had such good health on the diet it makes me feel great um, that I wouldn't want to go back to anything else so for me it's the diet that I've stuck with it and it's stuck with me for 20 years now um, and it works for me on many levels it works for me on an ethical level because it involves minimal killing it works on an environmental level because eating tree crops is one of the best ways to oxygenate the planet and remove pollutants from the air. And it works on um, a spiritual level as well because there's a certain um, tuning in to the universe and all the life forms around us, not just the animals but the plants too. Um, and of course the health aspects there as well as the ethical and the environmental reasons. So it's a diet, it has to be feasible, it has to work. If your diet's ethical, if it fits in with your environmental views, but if it's not a diet that's going to give you good health, then it's not practical. So it's got to tick all those boxes. And for me, the fruitarian diet does it ticks all the boxes. Thank you, Anne. I think you've summed that up beautifully. And it is your personal journey, as you've said. And I think you've put a lot of information in your book because for anybody wanting to know a little bit more about fruitarianism, Anne has put this beautiful book together, Fruitarianism, A Path to Paradise, and it gives a lot of uh, different information about that. So if you wanted to know more, this is the book you need. So thank you, Anne. Thank you so much for sharing your journey on fruitarianism, A Path to Paradise. Mm -hmm.